Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Chromium to play Flash games such as Plasmverse 2. In the description there will be a link to download this file right here. Basically what you want to do is download it and then right click on it and extract it. After you extract it there's going to be a folder left. In this folder there's going to be one folder which is the browser itself and a Flash player setup. Now if you're wondering where I got this from, basically I went on Google and I searched for ungoogled Chromium. I then went to the downloads page, went to browse releases, windows, 32 bit, and scrolled all the way down to find this version right here. As for the flash player, I went to an archive version of the archive flash player versions and got one from here. Another thing you might be wondering is why ungoogled Chromium? As you might know, Chromium is an open source project by Google of which multiple browsers such as Google Chrome, Edge, Brave, and more are based off of. Because the source code is open, there's a group of people who basically took Google out of Chromium, which is basically just bloat that you can remove. So why not take it? So the first thing you want to do is to go into the folder, find Chrome. If you're on Windows 10, you right click on it and click create shortcut. If you're on Windows 11, you click on it, show more options and click create shortcut. Then we have this shortcut right here. We can send it out and now we have Chrome here. Now, if you just try to run the ungoogled Chromium to play Plasm Burst, you're gonna realize pretty quickly that it doesn't actually load. This is because ungoogled Chromium doesn't come with its own Flash player and instead relies on a Flash player that you have installed. If you already have a Flash version installed, then it's gonna run just fine. But if not, what you want to do is double click on the Flash player that I include and install it. After it's finished installing, you can go to Chrome, try Plasm Burst, and it's gonna run just fine. You can also go to the SWF version, which is basically full screen, and that plays just fine too. It's literally as simple as that. Just download it from the link in the description, extract it, make a shortcut, install Flash Player, and then just open the browser and you're good to go. As for performance, I find it to perform just as good as Live Out for me. So if you want, you can just use this instead and it'll be perfectly fine. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.